this album is incredible. It it was fascinating to listen to. <laughs> um, my favorite song off the album is "The Flood." It is definitely one that's very attention grabbing. How did this album come to be? It, it, you guys have had a couple of albums before, and this one seems to stand out a little bit more than the rest of them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> First and foremost. Um, yeah. Um, our records are very different uh, one from one another. Very, very different. We started a little more goth, and then we started implementing electronics. And I think this, this from all the records, this one is the heaviest um, in terms of music and vocals. Um, so yeah, we usually write the songs, me and Andre, but this time we had Daniel Cardozo and a friend of ours from, from Poland too. So four people writing the record. Uh, and I think that that's what happened. We had four different minds writing. Um, and I believe that gave us a little more, a little more experience, uh, and, uh, it took us to another side. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very introspective, but not just introspective record. Yeah, that's that. I think that's the most uh, different thing from all of the other records. In the flood, uh, your voice is very much showcased. Not just like the the harmonious part of it, but the raspiness as well. Um, what was it like for you to to put down these tracks? Because it, it, there is a big range for your vocals right there. Yeah. After, the previous record was actually more difficult to sing, if you want to know. <laughs> yes. Um, but I decided to take a risk with this record. Uh, there are a lot of things I wanted to try out before, and I didn't have the guts to do it. But this time I decided to go full on and try everything I wanted. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the vocal work on this record, more than any other record we, we, we recorded before. Uh, what was that process like for you in, uh, in recording your vocals? Because there is, like, every single song has a different, a different part of your vocal talents that it showcases. Uh, what, what was it like to, you know, go through each one of these songs and, and have it be slightly different, your, your vocal, vocal style on each one of them? Well, we had a concept when we wanted to cre create the record, and usually uh, we do the instrumental. And when I listen to it, uh, I start writing the lyrics and then I try that the vocal melodies uh, go with the lyrics. So that's why every song has a different approach uh, vocal wise. Uh, you were speaking about the flood and it's a little more melodic, but it also has that side of, the, you know, the tragedy. So it has that little rasp, but there are other songs that have more rasp. Um, I don't like to saturate the, the, the ear to the, to the listener very much. So I didn't want to, to give the rasp on every song. Um, so yeah, it goes with the lyrics and it goes with the mood of the instrumental. That's what I go for. So uh, I was reading that some of your influences are, are some of my favorite bands of all time, like Tool, Metallica, Pantera. They're, they're <laughs> all amazing bands. How, um, how did you get introduced to these bands uh, and what caught your attention about them? Well, the first bands I actually, actually uh, know uh, from, from the rock universe were Deep Purple and it was a friend of my mom's that showed me <laughs> and Pink Floyd, my uncle. My uncle was a guitar player, so I got to know many bands from him. Uh, and then one day, my brother is older than, than I am. He brought home the Black Album. And he played it on the living room and I was like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> and I was, you know, absolutely blown away. And Metallica was really one of my major influences in music. Um, so, yeah, I was nine years old when I first uh, got to hear Metallica. And from then on, you know, I, I was a big fan. And then I obviously got to know other bands from the realm, you know, uh, yeah, thrash metal. And then I went a little bit goth. But Metallica was like the heaviest band I knew <laughs> at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know Metallica was w my introduction to metal as well and, and not yeah. that harder genre. Uh, they've had an evolution in their style as well. Um, yeah. Is that uh, the kind of like the inspiration behind the evolution in, in uh, how do you say the name of the band? Candia? Candia, yeah. 
Yeah. Is that the, the inspiration behind it? The fact that every album should have its own, its own soul, its own rawness to it? Yeah, the thing is, we, we experience different things in life, and the band is 15 years old, so we ob obviously changed a lot. Uh, I was a mom, and I was sick, I had an illness, and, uh, you know, everything influences when we write the music. And apart from other Metallica fans or non-fans, you know, people used to say bad things about Load and Reload, but I respected that those albums, and I, I actually love those albums. <laughs> uh, so I believe that the artists evolve. And what's the use of writing the same thing over and over again? Uh, so basically our records, they, they reflect our living and experiences. That's it. Um, for me, it makes no sense to do the same album twice. Definitely. And uh, you, you guys are from Portugal. Uh, I'm guessing you guys uh, were, were grew up uh, speaking Portuguese. Um, <laughs> How difficult or, or is it difficult or an obstacle to translate stuff into English? And does it always translate good or would you prefer sometimes doing stuff in Portuguese? I've did little, little uh, songs in Portuguese. I always write in English. The interesting thing is I grew up amongst Americans because my parents were Mormons. And uh, so I went to church with them, whether I wanted or not. And so we had a lot of Americans there. So I grew up uh, amongst Americans. So it's, it's pretty easy for me to write in English. It's pretty natural for me. Awesome. And uh, when it comes to singing, uh, your, your voice has, has this power to it behind it. Uh, at what point in your career did you, you find out that hey, this is what you want to do, that the vocals are what you were meant to do. <laughs> it's int interesting because I started in theater and musical theater. Um, and I was very, very, very shy. I'm still shy. <laughs> uh, and uh, I used to sing in my bedroom. I didn't want anyone to hear me. But when I was 19, I went to a karaoke and I said, okay, I'm going to try this out. And the feeling I had, you know, being on the stage uh, and people actually listening to me, it, it kind of got addictive. And then I decided that oh, maybe this is what I want to do. Um, so I started looking into lessons and uh, the rest is history. But yeah, it was around 19 years old. I realized that singing was my thing. <laughs> awesome. And Ordinary <laughs> has such a complex mixture of songs. What do you hope people take away after they finish listening to this album? The message, mainly, uh, yeah, of the lyrics. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I know it's a, good, it's a good record to work out to, you know, to run and to exercise. <laughs> but there's a message behind the songs. And that's what I really would love people to listen to. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, the beginning and ending tracks, I believe, are very strong. And just the order is incredibly precise. How difficult is it to come up with uh, an order for these songs? Because they all have very fascinating, very incredible um, mel melodies to them. Yeah, it's what I was talking earlier. When, when, they when Andre and Daniel and Red presented me the instrumentals, I knew what I wanted to write about. Uh, and then we did the songs and then I started listening. And I wanted, wanted this record to be like a movie. You know, you go into the theater and you get that, you know, the intro of the record. And then it's a journey. You go through a journey and then it ends with that hollow scene. It's like the end of the movie. It makes you think. Um, and that's what I was going for. Um, I think it, it was kind of magical how things, you know, actually bonded. Um, it, it was not that thought of. It was natural. It happened that way. Um, so the order is, is actually, you know, the introspective and the role of the human being in the planet. So that's basically, it. it's the journey, you know, what nature, how nature evolves with our presence, presence on earth. That's, that's basically it. Uh, with this album being so fantastic, uh, can we expect a tour anytime soon? 
Oh, that would be great. <laughs> I would love to say we have a tour plan, but uh, with this whole COVID thing, and we're, we're, we're a very small band, and the band is basically me and my husband. So you can see the investment is pretty hard. Uh, and we have a daughter, so a lot of things are involved. So we need to be pretty sure that things are going to go well. So we're actually waiting on the album to be released and to see what actually happens because all the festivals are trying to catch the bands that, that they wanted to present years before. So it's, it's, uh, it's hard to get a slot, but we're doing the best we can. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I hope to see you guys sometime soon here in LA. Uh, <laughs> album is incredible Thank and you. I can't wait for it to be released and other people to be able to listen to it the way I have. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you and I, I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.